really cute little. She seems pretty calm. <laughs> <laughs> He's cold. He's like, no, I was going to pick him up, but he walked over there to her. I know. He loves her. <laughs> He's... <laughs> well, what do you think, babe? Uh, this guy. This guy. You know? You're okay right with here, the bigger right one? Here, right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Well, like almost all the so going cross gender is a natural thing. So <laughs> the boys are attracted to the girls and oh, then, that's interesting. so uh, when I help people okay. select their their puppy I'll ask who's the dog for who's gonna be taking care of the dog who's gonna be spending the most time with the dog that's who the dog's for uh, now they the dog is gonna fit nicely into the whole family but uh, but anyhow so that's how I go about helping people to select their puppies you start there and you know, I, I realize we talked a ton about Huck. Uh -huh. but we also have a Bessie, a, a smaller girl. Oh, okay. So um, I don't know if that yeah. changes now. She's nine, so she's older too. Oh, mm -hmm. another um, rescue. She's another rescue. She's sweet with the kids too. She's like 30 okay. pounds. And okay. Huck, I don't think he's going to be around much longer. You know? Okay, he's right. He's going on 15. <laughs> Yeah. I think you can probably get away with okay, either like gender. Either gender. Uh huh. Right. Okay. I just yeah. wanted to bring that up because I realized I had well because I was so focused on talking about Huck. Well, I really like your point too. It should be who's the primary. Who's owner. gonna I mean, be I've, primarily taking care of this puppy? You. Yeah. So. I've been very fortunate that I've had yeah. some some yeah. great dogs in my life because of you should. and the girls and yeah. there are, are yeah it's. The, I yeah. travel a lot too for work so. And I trust like me, oh, he's 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 not gonna seem big. No, I, I, we saw a big ridgeback at the apartment building I was telling you about. Okay. And it was like 95 pounds. Yeah. And about stay close, it did girl. not seem big at all. You no, I mean? because they're lean. They're lean dogs. Yeah, they're they, they're hev they have heavy muscle. Yeah. yeah. Uh, they, you know what I mean? They, they really are a solid block of muscle. Mm -hmm. And. Oh my God, they're so cute. So I think muscle weighs three times more than Yeah, fat. those are the two Juliet's leaning towards. Those two. They've been just cuddling up with her this whole time. <laughs> I think the yellow collar's been closest. I know, I think so too. Yeah, the I like look the It's like uh, Reservoir Dogs, Mr. Yellow, well, Mr. Pink. Miss Pink Girl is following your baby girl there. I know. Just look at her. Really. I know, it's super cute. I think she likes you. Yes. Know. Yeah, she's having fun with you, bud. Yeah, she sure does. Yeah, I oh, think you're right, doll. The Pull the cover up over yeah, you. Do you want me to, oh, he is just so sweet with you, Juliet. Look at him, huh? He just loves you, doesn't he? Both, both of these dogs are really cute. Oh, my God, he's so cute. I can't get over this. Look at how Where did you go? Oh, you left. Okay. I've never trusted people that don't like dogs, but I always trust dogs that don't like people. Oh, right, right. You know, uh, that's that's exactly what I have learned is that you should listen to your dog if they're having a problem with somebody. Uh, just like with your child, you you could probably just you know leave yeah. right so then objective they don't have any predisposed you know they're not like born with like hating I mean, certain all sweet. types of people or anything like that like if they don't no. like somebody it's because they're and you can't them convince them otherwise right. you you I mean. can't indoctrinate them you can't show you right. can't uh, you can't, train it. You can't uh, that's right you can't train them to to uh that's like right it. no they they're uh just like little children, uh, they are reactive to their world. Yeah. So the well, carefully uh, you know, that's that's the first thing they learn in survival is that they copy everything that goes on around them. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I can't I can't stop him because I'm covered in puppy. Oh, that is precious, <laughs> darling. That is precious. She is. Like okay. Animal. So all of them. All of them. Yeah. Yep, so you can we'll have take, them all. We'll just, take half the just, just three. Just three, because the other one is. Three. The other one, yep. 
Yep, oh, careful, just Anna, three. Hold, uh, you got to hold it under the butt. You yeah, got to hold it under, under the butt. Under the butt. You don't then, there uh, you go. My wife and I always... Good think, job, sweetheart. Dog farm. Yeah, that's like our running joke when the kids are acting oh. and we're like, we should have got a dog farm. <laughs> oh, my God. Because we're like obsessed with dogs. Oh, <laughs> oh babies. Yeah. Hi, sweetie. Hey, where's your coat? Yeah. I noticed you just ditched your sweater somewhere, didn't you? I'll be back, you guys. <laughs> I gotta go find her sweater. Where'd you leave it? Where is it? Well, you know what I'm talking about. Well, go get your coat. Go get your coat. Go. Coat. Oh boy. I probably won't find that sweater. Where'd you leave it, Goober? Probably people on the video going, there it is right there, you missed it. <laughs> I don't think you went back this far without us. Come on. No, I didn't. <sighs> All right, Cam. Oh, my goodness. Is that baby following you? Oh. She stopped over there. <laughs> uh, she did. She ditched that sweater. 